please. I'll go first. You girls, um, you girls stand behind me. Listen, I don't understand. What was wrong now with Trish's car? Oh, uh, it, it was the distributor. What? Was it broken? I just put in a new one last week, aren't there? Oh, uh, no. I saw an oil leak. It shorted right. out the connecting wires. A leak? What are you talking A leak from where? I put new gaskets in. What, since when do oil leaks short out wires? Oh, Come on. God. Arthur, Arthur. Night in shining armor. Oh, well, that's great, honey, but I want to know about your car. Come on, I spent hours fixing that. Okay. What happened? It's a machine. Machines break without any reason. Arthur was brilliant. He got me to the chapel. He took care of me all during the storm. Wow. You should be thanking him. Didn't we have fun? Mwah. Uh, yeah. Well, um, well, you know, I mean, I did the best I could. I mean, the chapel was open, and I kind of wanted to take care of Trisha. I mean, you know, I, um, well... Oh, God, I gotta go. Look, it's late. I should go. So, Arthur, are yeah. you... What? Oh, listen, trucker, listen. Uh, forget about Trisha's car. Maybe maybe you should just get her a new one. I mean, yeah. God. I mean, look, I, I gotta go. We'll talk about it later, okay? I gotta get back to the shop. I mean, I got a lot of stuff to do. I'll what? see. I'll talk to you guys Thank later. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Is he oh. all right? He always looks like the world is on his shoulders or oh, something. God. Oh, God. The storm got to him a little bit. <laughs> Not to mention that ride on the motorcycle. Well, listen, he, he hates thunder. He does. Not to mention bikes. <laughs> hey, what did you do during the storm? Thanks. Sat around. Where? Get a bar. In a hotel. By yourself? But no, no, in a bar, in a hotel. Well, were you by yourself? No. No, I wasn't. Jeremy was with me. We sat around together. But then he had to leave because he had to help um, Cooper rescue Hannah. What? Hannah? What happened? Yeah, a beam fell on her and in some oh, no. old abandoned house. Oh, is she, house. Is she all right? Yeah, yeah, she is. Jeremy and Casey got her out from under it. She's fine. Fine. Good. Uh, why, don't, why don't you guys run along? I know you have to go where you're going. You have to get to the cabin, all right? right? Bye. Okay. Have fun. I Bye, can manage. Steve. Bye. Okay. Hey, listen. Take care of my little boy. Keep that dog of yours away from wind-up toys. Huh? Just. He's gonna be hungry when he wakes mm -hmm. up. Bye. Hmm. <laughs> what are you doing? Just pretend we just got married. Kiss me. Mm. Kiss me better. <laughs> I Come love on. it when you're forceful. What's going, going on here? Everything's been moved around. Who's, what's that? This is a person. Trisha, come, come back. Oh, my God. It's my brother, Curtis. Curtis Alden. I can't believe it, Trucker. It's been so long since we've seen him. What, two years? Since he left for the Gulf? Look, Curtis! Look. I think he's sick. I think he's sick. Oh, God, you're right, Trucker. He's burning up. Oh, Trish, 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 is that you? Trish. Yeah, it's me, Curtis. Oh, God, I missed you so much. I'm so happy to see you. Wait till I tell everybody. No, no, don't. Get out. Go. Don't tell anybody. Just forget you ever saw me. Go. Is he all right? Hey, come on, here. we gotta get him to a doctor. Well, why did he blow up like that? I mean, well, why did he ask us to leave? I don't know. He's gotta be running at least 100, 203. He's probably delirious. Listen, come on, let's get him out into the car. Okay. No, no, no. Curtis, come on, it's Trucker. We're just taking you to the doctor, no. okay? No, come on. I have to wait. I have to wait for her. No. For her? For who? Who are you talking about, Curtis? She, she's coming. She's promised she's coming back. She's promised. Oh, no. Listen, I'm gonna go find a ranger. I mean, maybe I can get him something to break okay. his, his fever anyway. I'll be right back. Hurry, okay, hurry. Just try to keep him still. I will. Here it is. She'll be back. She'll be back. Shh, shh. Okay. We'll, we'll wait for her here then. Curtis, it's okay. It's gonna be all right. Everything's gonna be fine. I'm gonna take care of you. We all missed you so much, your friends, your family. I'll take care of you. No, no. Don't, don't tell anyone. Especially Dad. Shh, Curtis, shh. Trish, 
<laughs> if I see him, I can't promise I won't hurt him. You're gonna have to stand in line. Come on, Curtis, let me at least tell Mother that you're here. No. No. No one. Why? Why? What's going on? I can't tell you. I can't say. I have to leave. As soon as she comes back, I'll leave. I've got to find her. I've got to find Curtis. her. Curtis. Curtis, The sun had disappeared from the lake in the valley when Deerslayer checked the ark in the manner mentioned. Still, it wanted a few minutes to the true sunset, and he knew Indian punctuality too well to anticipate any unmanly haste in his friend. Down! Down! Get down! No! 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 Shh! Shh! It's okay. No. It's okay. You're gonna be okay. Curtis, you're gonna be fine. God, what has happened to you? What are you so afraid of? I don't want to see him. Right, don't right. tell him I'm here. Curtis, Curtis, hey, come on. Come on. Just relax. Let the ranger take a look at you now. Come on. Keep my dad away from me. All right. Listen, Clay's not here. He's the it's reason okay. I left. Clay's the first not here. No. Just hang no. in there, buddy. Come on. No. Not as long as I'm anywhere near him. No. Come on. No. Why don't take care of you? Hang in there. Never. All right. Never. I never want to see him again. Never. Never. Okay. How is he? How's well, fever broke? Yeah? Yeah, his fever's broke. He, uh, he should be okay. Do you have any idea what happened? What's wrong with him? Well, I'm not a doctor, but, uh, hey, he's, he's past the worst of it. Uh, well, that's a relief. Listen, thank you very much for coming. Hey, Thanks I really didn't do anything. Someone must have been here before I got here. Anyway, get him to a hospital. Get some fluids into him. Right, Just keep him do. calm, all right? We're going to. Keep him away. I don't want to see him. Shh, shh. You don't have to see anybody you don't want to see, okay? Just relax. Where is she? Where is she? I don't know. Listen, would it be okay if we took him home? That way we could get a doctor to come and check yeah, him yeah, out. Yeah, go ahead and yeah. do that. Yeah, just right. make sure someone comes and looks at him. All right. All right. That's what we're gonna do. Okay. Okay, honey, come on. Let's put some blankets around him. We'll carry him out to the car. Curtis, we're gonna take come on, you Curtis. home, all right? No. Come on. No. We're no. gonna go for a ride. Hey, I can't leave come before on. she gets here. No. Who? Curtis, who? Who are you waiting for? She's coming. She said she'd be here soon. She's coming. Well, Curtis, you look much better. Wait till I get out of here. Yeah, the ranger said he thought you were probably, you know, past the worst of it. You're a lucky guy, Curtis. What can I say? Luck had nothing to do with it. He's gonna be fine. Don't worry. I don't know. I, I think something is different. I mean, it, it's as if something bad has happened to him. Honey, God, something did. He was over on the other side of the world for the last two years. We don't have any idea what he's seen or been through. Just give him some time. Hey, how about some of my famous chicken barley soup? How about you hand me my shirt? Listen, you're no. just gonna take it easy, man, okay? I will. I will. Once I get back to the cabin, she's waiting for me. I have to go. Now. She's waiting for me. I have to say goodbye. Hey, Curtis, come on. Look at you. Look at you. You're not going anywhere, man. Will you just be sensible? Yeah, come come on. on. Just sit down and relax a little bit. Why are you so anxious to say goodbye? You just got here, Curtis. I never figured on connecting with anyone like her. I mean, I came to see you and truck her and the baby and then split. Why can't you stay? Stay for a couple days. Trisha, I can't even look at them. They'll find out I'm here and they're all going to see me. And they're going to suck me right back in. I was born in Alden. I don't have to stay one. Curtis, you're, you're not anything like them. They have a saying in the Middle East. You can't escape what runs in your veins. Were you over there the whole two years? Pretty much. And everything was okay all this time? I survived. Once I got the language down. I'll be back. You speak Arabic? <laughs> yeah, I can curse up a storm. 
Oh. It's the only way to get things done over there. You know, you, you got to do a lot of hand waving and yelling, and if that doesn't work, then I would say American whiskey. Now it's everybody's best friend. <laughs> Trisha, can I hold Christopher? Go see your Uncle Curtis, okay? Well, be careful with him now. It's my little man there. Uh, I couldn't believe it when you wrote me and told me about him. Oh, I'm so glad you got my letters, Curtis. Yeah, me too. Look at this guy. He's got the face of an angel. Mm -hmm. hmm. Doesn't it make you wonder? How people get away with doing what they do to kids? They're just repeating what's what's been done to them. I catch myself sometimes. Trucker hates slamming doors. Now people leaving. Yeah. Yeah, just after my 13th birthday, I I used to get woken up every night to the sound of, of scuffling, strange scuffling noises. And, and then one day, the scuffling stopped. Mom and Rocky were asleep, and... Uh, and I heard the front door slam shut hard. And my dad was gone for good. The sound of scuffling I heard that night were of him packing. I just always wondered um, for years why, why he left the door slammed so, so hard. He wanted you to hear him bailing. See, I hate silence and clocks ticking. It reminds me of our dad. Daddy's sitting alone in his office while we sat home wondering if he'd ever show up for dinner. Plotting. Always plotting. Well, this is pretty amazing, huh? How come you guys turned out so normal? <laughs> normal? Us? No, for normal. <laughs> hey, you're pretty normal yourself. Oh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a dream come true. I'm a paragon of walking damn virtue. I mean, God's gonna open his arms when I walk through the pearly gates. Curtis, things didn't go quite the way you planned out there, did they? Something went wrong. We have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. Give the lady a Cupid doll. What went wrong? It's the simplest thing in the world. An accident of birth. I was born in Alden. You sit straight in the saddle, kid. You're our last chance for a decent well, family. Curtis, boy. I want you to reconsider about Mother. No, no, my Mother's got this knack of making me do things I have no intention of doing, like staying around. Listen, Curtis, you still have a fever. Yeah, well, so. you know, I also got an angel looking out for me. Now, what would you do? Uh, angels wait, don't they? It depends if you believe in miracles. I don't. I'm not taking that chance. Curtis. All right. still standing in the driveway, huh? My brother comes back after two years. He barely stays long enough to even say hello, and then I may never see him again, all because of my father. So, listen, what are you going to do? Are you going to try talking to him again? It's not going to change. First, he'll, he'll tell me how he never meant to hurt me. Then he'll tell me how much he loves me. And I'll forgive him. And then he'll do something even worse. <laughs> it's like a broken record. No, maybe I am. Uh, listen. It's time for you to take control and break this pattern. How? I don't know. You're going you're to have to cut him off before he makes his next move. Show him something that he's never seen before. Surprise your dad. And yourself. <laughs> 